you principal ma'am it's my pleasure to be here with all of you uh, actually please don't call me madam i just want to be the old student of nanda college so all of you please call me ramya so that this one hour i can be the old student and it's my pleasure to seeing all of you i think punkote ma'am is also here uh, so <clears throat> um uh, professionally i am a counseling psychologist and uh, in 2014 only i came to the field of mind power actually one book called uh, the secret of ronda byron so uh, when i uh, read that book it uh, totally changed my life and uh, before going to mind power i think uh, we need a basic idea of stress what is stress uh, because uh, stress anxiety depression we are using a lot of words but commonly uh, people are using stress so what is stress stress is something um, uh, an event or a response of body to an event or uh, a threat or a change or a demand so it can be anything the stressor can anything uh, like a financial problem a social problem a cognitive problem like anything it can be so uh, in in this uh, stressful life uh, as i was telling um, we are having this covid and pandemic situation so uh, when this stress is going out of control we may take to uh, support from some professionals but uh, another uh, anxiety is something <clears throat> we are anxious about the future there is not a particular event in stress we may have a particular event or something a stressor we can identify but in anxiety this is more in future we are fearing about something or um, worry about something nervousness of something in future so we know uh, our students they are very anxious about their examination results and all uh, maybe you teachers while coming for the interview you you were so anxious about the interview so uh, in anxious uh, anxiety we have a lot of anxiety disorders also but commonly these two these two are very problematic to us if that is going out of control uh, we may need uh, support from professionals also so why uh, so here i am telling this anxiety stress and everything in as stress so we can uh, tell in one word okay so how was this coming so uh, we can take uh, some example so it will be more easy to uh, understand so uh, for a student if i am telling a student uh, an exam uh, like that uh, uh, example you can take any any stressful event of yours and you can connect that to yours so it's like a, a circle so it comes first it comes as uh, the negative thoughts ne negative thoughts so uh, first an event is coming so a student is hearing or oh, the exam date is announced exam date is announced on uh, march or something like that so the uh, this neutral event is creating a lot of stress or a lot of negative emotions sorry negative emotions negative thoughts in his mind so this will create a lot of doubt and worries because where this is coming a lot of past memories are there so when he was attending the 7th standard or 10th standard examination he was having a problem memory issues he was confused maybe he changed the uh, question numbers like that so a lot of memories will come so he will connect this event to the past memories so always when a neutral event is coming we are connecting our past memories to this event so this will create mostly we are connecting negative ones which was not a good uh, result so we are connecting a lot of negative things to the current event and the, we will produce a lot of unpleasant feelings and we are actually reliving the memories reliving all those memories so the student will be reliving all those uh, suffocations that uh, tension that stress when he was writing the examination of 10th while he is doing the msc or degree graduation or msc so this is creating all this thing and when this is creating he will uh, feel stressed or anxious or depressed and what happens when we are stressed anxious and depressed it will go affect the current situation so we are coming from a 
neutral even then a lot of negative emotions are coming negative thoughts are coming and brain will give a lot of memories which is negative which was not good for us and this all memory helps to produce unpleasant feelings and these unpleasant feelings will create a lot of unpleasant or uh, we know a lot of hormones which is not good for our health harmful for our health so these all things will create a lot of stress anxious and they will be depressed and this will happen in in the current situation he will be so uh, unpleasant and the current situation will be affected by these all feelings and what will happen it will demotivate you and it, your self esteem will go the students uh, self worth will go and it will confirm the failure or the result will be again negative then what happens they will start or give the negative thoughts and negative emotions for the next event so you can see a circle here and this should this is the basic thing so we are always inside this so normally in stress management class we are taking yeah we have a lot of stresses they are financial financial this this is this, this so what you can do on that and we have social social this this things will have important or cognitive we have this problem and these stresses are causing these problems so we have to identify our strength we have identify our weakness and not going to these all things actually everything comes under this circle so uh, i always help my clients help my students with understanding this circle when you are understanding this circle you can identify where you are now if you are stressful if you are anxious about something you know uh, normally there is a philosophical quote that telling if you are stressful you are living in the past and if you are anxious you are living in the future so if you are stressed you understand what is happening you are correlating a lot of negative memories to that and uh, according to that you are creating a lot of negative visualization in the future so you are thinking oh in my life this happened uh, this time hod told me uh, our last time hod was telling this or principal was telling this or my parents was telling this or my in laws was telling this my child was not uh studying well so this is uh, going to happen again and we are creating a lot of visualization in the future also so connecting all this one and uh, another we are creating our negative future so these all things will make a lot of stress in our mind so how how can we escape from this that is our today's class no so uh, we all all human beings have this problem always we are going be behind the negative thoughts and negative emotions so it's very difficult to come or stop the negative thoughts we can't stop our negative thoughts but what we can do is we can create positive ones we, if we are uh, for example um, uh, you know uh, when children are playing cricket so our dharmaraj sir i don't know sir is still working there our dharma sir and abdul sir all were playing cricket in our ground when we always watched from our hostel so when the ball is going a sixer is going to a particular side so we always will be running through a path so at that side the grass will be dried and a path will be created there so if the uh, all the uh, bow, um, our uh, what uh, other uh, none of the batman or uh, other uh, players are uh, running in the same path they will create something like that if we are doing the same circle in our brain also there is a neural pathway is uh, creating so for uh, to remove this uh, pathway what we can do here in the ground what we can do if the player is running same path and there is a, a new path is created we can do we can remove uh, we don't need to put grass and all there we just need to create some other part and we will go like that then naturally uh, that first part will uh, we we can see a lot of grass will come and it will come to the uh, other side uh, other uh, with other grass and we can't uh, see a path there so like that in our uh, mind also in our brain also uh, we don't stress for uh removing negative thoughts no i won't think about that i won't think about that then if you are saying no i won't think about that i won't stress about that you are thinking always about that only 
if a child is uh, uh, praying he will be praying like that oh god i don't want to be confused i don't want to be tensed i don't want to be stressed then what he is imagine he is imagine he is tensed he is confused his memory is losing he is confused about the question so he is visualizing what is going to happen and when he is in the question and when he is getting the question paper he is he will do the same only because mind was seeing what is happening in the question paper so we are also doing the same in our life no whenever an event is coming we is connecting the negative memories and we are visualizing okay this is going to happen so in mind power with the help of mind power we can change this so how this mind power came so this is a very interesting topic because uh, when i was uh, taking the uh, this uh, for the students and all they were uh, very curious to know what is this what is mind power because they are always getting a lot of classes about uh, motivation and all uh, sorry uh, yeah and a lot of motivation classes uh, how to uh, get success and all so um, this may be a, a new new topic for our students and all and i am taking this uh, mind power for even uh, old mothers uh, for the kudumbasri mothers and the uh, sports people and all because this mind power is what we have we human being have this one animals don't have this mind power so all the you can see all the successful people they might have used this mind power at any point always in their life they always have this mind power so uh, two historical events was uh, created and because of this people understood the power of mind or they started more researching and all uh, after getting this um, please one second sorry my child is here i was telling him to open the door okay so uh, two historic event was there and uh, the first one is uh, uh, roger bannister in uh, 19 uh, 1960 uh, 54 6th may 1954 there was an uh, uh, a marathon in england and till that till 1954 all the people in the world thought that Um, uh, the distance of one mile can only be run uh, in uh, four minute. So it was like this: uh, one mile, four minute run. So always in all program, all athletic problem program, uh, all the athletes completed one mile in only four minutes only. So in 1954, Roger Bannister break this run, and he completed this with three minute and fifty something seconds. so this was a miracle for the world because till that the people or uh, uh, we human kind thought that we humans can only do this we have only capacity for this and you know what happened after this a lot of people uh, if we say in 6 months 30 plus people 30 plus athletes break the same rule because roger manister break that one so the people know that i can also do that and the second uh, thing was uh, vasily alexiev he was from russia and in 19 till 1970 uh, we thought that a human body can only lift 500 pound uh, above our shoulder above our head so always always in all program the maximum uh, maximum weight a human being uh, lifted was 500 pound but in 1970 vasily alexiev lifted 501 pound above his shoulder level so this was an eye opener for the, all the sports people and all the all the world was shocked how this can happen they thought that it was the uh, problem of our uh, or it was the um, uh, capacity of our body a human body can only do this but you can see in both both uh, program or both even the next time a lot of people do the same do the same means they also break the rule or 500 to 501 or 502 then what is happening here we can see that uh, our uh, body system was not uh, we can tell it was not updated no in the both even a uh, human body was the same but where the change came it came only in our mind so this started a lot of studies and researches in the Uh, in the field of mind power so 
if i am asking you what is our mind where is this located and what will be your answers uh, i can't see anyone uh, all of you are you there or not or you can just type if the network issue for uh, owning your video so what is our mind or where is it situating can you type some answers otherwise it will be like a radio i will be telling uh, stories from here and i don't know whether any of you are there <laughs> Uh, can you just type what is your understanding of mind or what, where is this situated when i am asking this question to uh, school children they will start selling where is your mind children then they will say it's here ma'am it's here ma'am like that so uh, what do you think where is where it is because in any of our school or colleges we are not studying about mind no that is the biggest thing um, biggest uh, what uh, mind is thought okay abdul sir that is his thought uh, any anything else i searched a lot where is the situating where is this mind situating i i searched a lot okay so um, or what is the definition of mind like that so simply we can tell like this if the brain is our hardware we can, sorry we can tell the mind is a software so mind is our imaginations okay ansha ansha ma'am so mind is our imagination or mind is creating imaginations or mind is creating or mind and brain is creating these thoughts and imagination it's our feelings nandini ma'am okay this mind and brain or our brain is creating uh, some hormones and our mind is also Uh, contributing something and this is uh, creating the feelings uh, mind is understanding we are understanding the things with our mind and our brain so what is the mind that's the question no so if our brain is the hardware system we can say that our mind is the software system so i am asking you now you are sitting in most most of you are sitting in your home or in your office room okay so now if you think about um, a uh, your relative uh, he is far away from you uh, someone you really know you know about that person so you are thinking about that person maybe he is living in america so you are thinking you have seen the video calls and also you know what is happening there so in the morning also you got the message so when you are thinking about that person you have a picture of that person in america no or we are thinking in your office you are thinking in my home my wife will be doing this my husband my child is doing this so you are going to your home at that moment no so we have this this mind it's going out of our body so actually i always say it's not here or here we are inside our mind that much powerful mind we have or uh, i got this definition for the mind it is the greatest but least understood energy resource of uh, universe because it is the greatest but least understood we we know it is the greatest energy but the human kind till now not understood it very well so when we are going to this mind when we are going to this mind power we need a, a basic idea of mind you might have uh, heard of conscious mind subconscious mind and unconscious mind no in conscious mind we all are sitting here we are hearing this you you are uh, listening to me or at the same time you may be going somewhere around and these all things you are doing with your conscious mind and uh, at the last bottom we have our unconscious mind and uh, science still don't know what is there in our unconscious mind some are saying it's our ancestral memory some are saying all the memories from the whole universe some are saying uh, all the memories from our birth itself so we are not uh, actually don't know what is in there so our part is subconscious mind this subconscious mind is coming between the conscious and unconscious mind and this subconscious mind is the most powerful thing but it don't have a brain we can say like that because the subconscious mind is taking all commands from conscious mind if the conscious mind is telling okay you can't do this you are not worth for it um, uh, you are very uh, very unlucky Uh, and like that if the conscious mind is saying send the subconscious mind will say oh okay your honor i am like that only 
so it will take the commands from our conscious mind this this is why always our motivational speakers and all our personality development teachers telling us don't think about negative not don't think negative thoughts you always have to think positive things because when your conscious minding is thinking a lot of negative things your uh, uh, subconscious mind will take all the, it as a commands so uh, what is this subconscious mind what is the power of i don't know whether you have read the uh, book of joseph murphy dr joseph murphy the power of subconscious mind you can refer that one to your students also who is uh, who is having a lot of uh, stress and uh, an anxiety because these all things are the um, drama of our mind only okay so we can uh, see a few few uh, power of our subconscious mind and uh, first thing is we can tell it is our autopiloting system what is autopiloting we know in our um, all the airplanes are now converting to autopilot no so no need of a pilot it will uh, if we are setting everything once it will go as per the schedule so uh, how we can say that we are in an autopiloting system so think about uh, what what hand you use today for brushing brushing okay if you are right handed you will be using the right hand and if you are left handed you will be using this one no so morning you are taking this brush and doing brushing and you are not thinking okay i am doing my brushing i have to do this left side right side upward downward you are not thinking like that no so what is we are doing we are taking the brush these all things are doing automatically paste we are putting the paste you are applying this and we are doing these all things with a lot of lot of thoughts in our mind we will be going to our college we will be going to our family issues or we will be going to our social issues so our mind is wandering but our subconscious mind is doing this very well so all of the work he knows how to do so this is the autopiloting move, movement or otherwise if you are, you drive a, a car or a scooter you know at the first time when the when you were learning the driving you were so much uh, stressed or anxious so oh, i have to apply the accelerator clutch and uh, this everything gear and everything you were so stressed about these all things but how you are doing this one now now we are starting from our home going to our college and all these all these distance you may not be thinking yeah. about uh, what is happening at that moment uh, you might have not seen any uh, uh, stops that have uh, gone back and you will be thinking oh i reached the college you might not have uh, listened to any voices or you might have not have seen some uh, uh, pictures or some hoardings or something like that so what is doing the subconscious mind is doing all these things even if you are not in the at that moment but you are doing very well no so this is our autopiloting system so most of the things we are doing just imagine we are bathing all automatic system no we are not thinking oh, every day i am bathing with right hand today i am going to bath with left hand we are not thinking like that no so it is also autopiloting system brushing eating we are eating we will be doing something we will be seeing our mobile and all so that is also autopiloting system so uh, we are coming to college that is autopiloting system and some uh, talks and all that time we are in our conscious mind then if you are taking the same subject for last 5 years in class also you will be using the autopiloting system so this is the power of our subconscious mind once you are telling the subconscious mind these 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 things you have to do while driving or while eating while brushing and it will take the commands it will learn it very well then no need of using our conscious mind then we can tell uh, it have the telepathy telepathy intuitions and all uh, you will be thinking about oh principal today i was telling principal ma'am this and i forgot to tell this to her then you will be getting a message from your principal or a um, uh, call from your principal or you are thinking about your spouse or children or a friend you are getting a message or a call from your friend and you will say, oh i was thinking about you just now i was thinking about you or your friend might have uh, did this to you or tell this to you also oh i was thinking about you and that time only i got your message or your phone so all of us are connected or we our subconscious mind have this ability to connect with others this is we are calling 
telepathy and uh, we can tell it control all our emotions and uh, emotional intelligence and these all things are controlling by our subconscious mind and this is the powerhouse of our sub, uh, memory also if uh, you might have know the students will uh, say to you ma'am i studied that one uh, but in the uh, when i entered to the um, exam hall i forgot it and when i came out now i am starting uh, 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 i got the answer so when we are at, at questioning a, a giving a question to our mind the mind will start the uh, as searching the answers and time is not an issue when it is getting or you might have searching for a song oh what was that song the that vijay song and uh, anushka is also uh, oh it's in, on my tip of my tongue and you will forget about that then all in a sudden yeah this is the song so what is doing our subconscious mind if you are giving a question to subconscious mind it will search until it is getting the answer that's why we are getting that one even if we are going to bath or we are having food or something like that so if i am telling the power of subconscious mind i may need a full day for that so i am stopping that there so our albert einstein we all know albert einstein no so he said that the ancestor of everything is a thought so what is it ancestor of everything is a thought so we are using now uh, the google uh, google meet no so somebody somebody was thinking um we need to create a software so that people can communicate they can see each other they can uh, share the things they can record and everything so it was created in that person's mind or a bunch of people's mind then they start doing creating a software so now if you are lying in a bed or sitting in a chair you can see that that is also a thought of a person so a person was thinking i have to create something like that so he will first he will draw something on his mind then he will draw here then it will come to reality so einstein said the truth only the ancestor of everything is a thought so uh, you can just see around you everything is a thought even your clothes your phone your table your chair your bed your books everything it was a thought inside a person so this is the power of thought so as abdul sir uh, told it's the power of our subconscious mind we have thoughts and we can create that one uh, we know buddha once told uh, years back told that you will become what you think so we have this capacity if we can imagine here we can produce here we can it will come to reality so that is one so um, i don't know whether in tamil nadu there is a lot of uh, elephants or not in kerala uh, we have the uh, temple programs and we will see a lot of um, uh, elephants here for the programs and all so uh, you might have seen in uh, there is a small chain connecting this elephants like to a small coconut tree or a palm tree and it will be uh, standing like that Uh, i can't break this one so why why how is this happening how how a big big uh, elephant is doing like this like uh, he is a fool like uh, acting like he can't break that chain so what is happening here we know that when the uh, elephant is uh, small they will put a big chain so he can't break that one so when he try to pull this chain he will always feel that no i can't break this i can't break this so he will continuously continuously try and try and try then after that the conscious mind will say to the subconscious mind no you can't break this okay then the elephant when it is very big size than the chain and than the coconut tree he will not try to escape from that chain this like this we all have chains in our mind too because from the childhood our parents our um, maybe grandparents our family members maybe our school teachers or other friends or uh, so social people might have told negative about yourself you are not good looking your nose is good your voice is not good you are not tall you are very small or you are very fatty or you are very thin so you can't do that you are not good in maths you are not good in biology uh, you are uh, good in that but you are not good in this so all of the people gave a lot of chains to us 
chain to our brain and chain to our subconscious mind and the subconscious mind will see the effect also oh yeah they are telling i am not good i can't study well even uh, maybe one time uh, we have gone to the stage for a program and we have do this blah 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 and we will be shivering and then the whole people will laugh then they will tell you look this is not your passion or you are not going to be a good singer or you are not going to be a good preacher so the subconscious mind will take oh yeah they are correct because they are uh, they have influence on me if they if they are telling me my parents are telling my teachers are telling my best friends are telling look whatever you do but don't go and sing okay if whether i am a good singer or not i am taking that one from others so we are also putting these chains to our mind so what happens in our future now also we are using these all chains to us so it will like first i said these negative thoughts is coming from these chains these chains are contributing a lot of negative thoughts because the negative thoughts are telling in the memory you were like that you was not able to do that right uh you were not able to complete your project uh, uh, last time when you made biryani it was not so good so all these memories coming from these chains so first of all we have to break this chain so for that we need to identify the chains so first of all you think about what is the most stressful things for you and you think what is the connecting chains for that stress so identify that stress Cut, cut, cut it. You think like this. That was years before, and I have to cut it. So first of all, we need to identify these chains for us. And uh, we know uh, the power of our subconscious mind in Olympics. The Olympics is coming. So uh, in Olympics and all the uh, athletes and all the participants are using mental uh, practice also. How they are doing? if a uh, athlete is going for a uh, 100 meet uh, uh, event he will be daily he will be practicing physical practicing and all and the coach will give a mind practice also what is he doing he will sit very relaxed very calm and uh, shutting down his whole system he will be very relaxed and the coach will say okay or guided meditation like or we can do it by ourselves also one only one time we need to do from others then we can do ourselves so the participant will do like this uh, he is uh, seeing the future so uh, daily he is practicing in mind he is seeing visualizing these all things imagining these all things first he is doing very well practice and all then he is going for olympics then uh, he is participating participating the event then uh, he will feel all that one inside he will uh, imagine like that if we are thinking about a very uh, um, our sweet and all we will be acting like oh i now i want to eat that so we will be having these all memories in and like that he will connect all the practicing and one once he uh, go for an event so he will imagine that he is participate participating in the event and he is going first he is getting the gold medal and he will imagine that at the uh, time of the ceremony uh, he is getting the gold medal and the national anthem is playing then uh, he will visualize that he is coming back to his country and his country is honoring him and these all things he will do with all his feelings and this like that he is visualizing everything and studies showed that this is giving a lot of positive results so uh, we can see mind practice in sports uh, in uh, even in football cricket uh, any anything so i am also giving uh, mind power coaching to students and all for sports students so this is what happens in um, sports area so we are uh, taking this in sports i think mind power is much better they are using much better but our students and all they are not using this one so this is the main part of this and uh, we, we have a um uh, you have any questions maha okay i think the mic is unmuted okay and we have a lot of uh, uh, examples like 
uh, the dual personality characteristics and all. When a person is uh, having a dual person, we know the onion feeling, no? Like that, it's uh, happening uh, in some people. They have this disorder, dual personality disorder and all. So when the person is in a 20-year-old personality, he will be acting like a 20-year-old. And if he is originally 20 and he is having a 60-year-old personality, he will be acting like a 60-year-old personality. So the mind is thinking that I am 60-year-old and he will be reacting like that only. So even uh, the uh, everything, everything we can see that he is acting like a... So because his mind is thinking, I am very weak, I am 60-year-old. And when he is back to 20, he is acting like a 20-year-old. So these all things are doing in our uh, mind only. And... Uh, other other thing the uh, the best uh, known or medicine is our oldest medicine uh, known to man is the uh, belief okay uh, belief of uh, or trust belief uh, you might have heard of uh, placebo or sham surgery or placebo medicines and sham medicines what is it uh, you can uh, try in youtube placebo surgery uh, there was an experiment uh, there is an experiment video uh, from the bbc news so what he is, uh, what the doctors are doing here, no? Uh, there was a lady. A, a lot of experiments are doing, and this placebo surgeries are happening in all, all over the world in our country also. But in our country, doctors are not saying as to that this is a placebo surgery. But in abroad, in other than our Asian countries, they are telling the. Uh, uh, client or the patient that we are uh, not the patient uh, the bystanders they are telling that we are going to do a placebo surgery so what is a placebo surgery if i am the patient so i am going to a doctor because i believe in him i trust that person so i know that if he is doing my surgery i will be cured so i am uh, if i have a problem with my shoulder or my knee so i am going to a doctor and the doctor is uh, searching our uh, do, doing all the tests and all and he is understanding that no this can cannot be cured by a surgery but he is seeing the belief of mine he know that i trust him i strongly believe that this person can cure cure me so the doctor know how much belief i have on him so what is this doctor doing doctor is uh, telling okay we can do the surgery and you will be completely all right your pain will be gone after the surgery and he is giving all this positive uh, affirmations and all me. And then he will tell my bystanders that, look, this is the uh, reason. Uh, it is not good for her to do this shoulder uh, surgery. It may not work, but we are doing this because he believed that uh, it is good for her. So after this, they will give all the dramas for me. I will see they are coming and Stacia is coming and I am going to the uh, operation theater and they are doing all the surgery and all. Then after uh, opening my eye, I am seeing all the bandages and all. But pain is less and my belief is that the doctor have removed whatever uh, negative is there or it is happening there. So the cure is happening there. So the beliefs beliefs going to work for me it is going to cure me then you can see the in uh, uh, in the youtube the placebo experiment like in bbc there is a i think 60 about 70 about year old lady her shoulder was uh, the doctor said that uh, the, if they are doing the real surgery it's not, it's not going to work because it will cause more pain to her only so they did the placebo experiment and uh, before the uh, surgery she was not able to raise her hand but now she is able to raise her hand but she don't know they did the placebo placebo surgery because they just opened it and just uh, stitched it but nothing else they did on the bone so she is not uh, getting more pain also so if we are knowing all these things now we will understand that this is the power of our subconscious mind so how how can we use this mind power for our uh, stress management that's our main topic no so we have we need to know what is mind power and we need to know what is stress so how how we can use this uh, mind power for stress management so here the first thing is uh, stop telling don'ts don't tell to our mind that don't do this don't stress uh, don't do this because our 
mind have a capacity to visualize whatever it is so what is in Olymp an olympic athlete what is he doing he is visualizing that he is doing all things positively and he is doing everything positive and he is getting a gold medal and he is very happy his country is happy his family is happy he is visualizing this only but what we are doing all all the time we know what is not going to happen we always visualize what we don't want to happen no we are thinking like oh i don't want to this happen um, i don't want to that happen so we are visualizing that only uh, our children they are uh, our students they are uh, thinking like that i don't want the customer but to be hard uh, i don't want it to be confused and they are visualizing these all things so um, and one more question how many of you know uh, swimming how many of you maybe uh, i think 47 are here maybe you uh, 10 or 15 know the swimming no so how you uh, learn swimming from the birth itself or you went to a uh, river or a pond or a swimming pool i i learned uh, swimming from a swimming pool only we don't have a uh, river and a pond near here so uh, we know we are uh, studying learning the swimming uh, at the age of maybe 6, 7 or uh, 12 standard or at the time of degree. I studied only, uh, learned only 6 years ago only. So, uh, we human beings always go for a swimming class or uh, with the help of someone else we are learning the swimming. But have you ever noticed a animal, an animal is going for a swimming class? No, no. So, how, how they are doing that? And think about that where we were living in our womb of our mother it was a fluid no we were inside the placenta fluid and we are uh, we are very fear of we are anxious about we will be drowned by the water because from the childhood our mother our father our grandparents or our uh, young uh, adult ones told us don't go near the water you will sink you will drown you will uh, die if you are under the water so these all uh, fears and scares are coming to our mind so we are thinking that this is going to happen but we have researchers or we can see if we are uh, putting a newborn baby to a water it will come and come to the uh, uh, upper part only he he or she won't be drawn so by birth we have this capacity we can swim but from the childhood our mother or father or the community said that you will be drowned if you are going to the water. So, if we are believing, if you are trusting that words, and it will happen only. So, this is the power of our subconscious mind. So, stop talking, and you know your children, if you are telling, look, you, you don't do this. When you are telling this, before that, he will start doing that. Why? You are telling, don't go upstairs, and don't touch that switch he will running to the switch and he will touch the switch because he is visualizing going and on the switch or touching the switch when you are telling the words don't and the sentence so he is doing the same thing because he is visualizing that one so what we can do don't say to our children that don't do that you can tell them what you can do do tell them that you go and play there. You be very safe. You uh, do this, do that. Because we are always telling them, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. So they are visualizing the same thing only. That's why they are so naughty. So we can stop, first of all, telling us and telling our children. So you have to learn this technique so that you can tell your children also. So now stop telling your mind and your children and whoever don't do this and to your students also don't do this don't do this you just tell them what they have to do then they will visualize what they have to do so every team so we can uh, see what we can do for the stress management using this mind power so every time when a negative thought coming you can think just opposite of that if uh, we can take the same uh, example of a student if a student if you are attending for a examination you are uh, thinking Oh, the last time when I studied, I was confused and the exam hall, I was so tensed and all, I was so confused. It was coming all mixed up and all. Don't, when you are thinking like that, your feeling will go, go bad 
and you will feel very bad then you know that you are thinking negatively that's 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 then uh, you will know that you are thinking negative thoughts so identify that when your feeling is changing that you are thinking negative thoughts identify quickly and change the thoughts just opposite because if you are thinking negatives if you are opposite seeing the opposite you know that by seeing the negative imagination negative visualization it may harm your body also and the past and the future also may come like that so why don't we try the best one so just think about the positive one okay i am going for the examination and whenever you are uh, doing i i am saying that this is only an example you do or correlate with your life experiment what is stressful for you you do this just for your your thing i don't know what is it the uh, everything will be personal no so i am just telling an example so you can do this uh, you can take the knowledge from that and you can apply to your life so uh if you are thinking or if our student is thinking oh examination is going to bad then think like this exam is going to very well my question paper will be very easy and i will be able to answer all the question answers i will get a 5 minutes extra for checking all this one and i will do very well very confidently i will uh, write the examination like this we have to visualize so we have to visualize when we are uh, thinking negative thoughts we just put switch on okay opposite so you can practice something like stop when we are telling stop to our mind it can't do anything because the conscious mind is very powerful he is the commander like a ship captain and the subconscious mind is the uh, sailor so the captain is telling stop like a monkey is always doing this 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 but if we are giving something to the monkey he will sit with that like that our mind is also like a monkey so we say is monkey mind so we are telling do this do opposite of this so mind is doing that one and the second one is if for uh, practicing the mind power the for the best result we need to practice gratitude also second one is gratitude exercise what is gratitude it is the uh, we are thanking everyone no when we are getting a gift when someone is doing something we are thanking oh thank you thank you ma'am thank you uh, my child thank you amma like that we are saying so only that time we are using this thank you and thanks but we need to practice this in our whole day how we can practice this gratitude like now you are sitting in your home your house or uh, your office or somewhere else now you are having a mobile in your hand no because of this mobile you are attending this class if this mobile is not working you may not be able to attend this class or we may not be able to be seeing like this so you can say thank to your phone and because only you are you are having money and you have did the recharge so you have this money for the recharge of the internet so you can thank your money also and what the, the iqac they have arranged this program no so all the members of iqac they are doing something very well they are doing something for us then we can uh, thank them also and what about nanda college is there because of that college someone have uh, created this college some people created this college then only we are going there our students are going there we are getting salary and all we have a job only because that college is there so we can thank the college and the founders of the college and the management of the college so at least we uh, we studied and uh, we are wearing this clothes because this like that if we are counting from breath to our salary or breath to our life we can say a thousands of thank you day to day life what is happening when you are thanking when we are thanking to something our mind is feeling ha oh, i got something so the mind is very relaxed so he is telling oh i have got something i am very thankful to this so our mind is not going for the negative emotions negative thoughts we are always complaining no i don't get this even like a child our mind is telling look i have only this salary or i have only this car or i have only this bike i have only this uh, big uh, home i have a small home only there's a lot of people those who have don't have a home so like this we need to do the gratitude practice whenever we are have getting time we can do this so morning you are opening your eyes and you can say oh god i am still alive because a lot of people died today morning 
so oh god i am still alive thank you god so a day is coming starting from the gratitude only so this gratitude exercise will give a positive always a positive feeling inside our mind so that what happens we will always visualize positive things only so our mind is telling okay positive things things coming positive things are happening so this is the another one so feel good feel more we will feel more and more positives will comes to our life and uh, i'm not telling about law of attraction uh, you can uh, if you know or not if those who don't know about the law of attraction it's also the power of our subconscious mind it's telling that uh, law of attraction it's like law of gravity you believe or not it's happening what is happening once we are uh, thinking about something i need this i need a red hyundai car i am visualizing i am uh, asking to my god or my universe i am uh, telling in my mind that i want this red car then i am believing that yes uh, the god or universe is going giving giving that to me and i am thanking my god for that not i didn't get the car yet but yet i am thanking my god that oh thank you god for the car then what is happening the mind is thinking that it is always happening so visualization is we are going to buy the car and i am happy with that car and i am using that car i am going all the uh, uh, relatives home and going for work in this car and my children is very happy my spouse is very happy my parents are happy with this car so in law of attraction they are saying when you are fully connected with these feelings of future positive things it will happen only so uh, just uh, search in the uh, youtube channel Uh, law of attraction in tamil or in english you will get thousands and uh, lakhs of uh, videos on that this is this is this can also be, we can use for stress management because we are stressed about what we don't have we can do uh, law of attraction exercise also for our uh, stress management and the third uh, fourth one is forgiveness forgiveness we we always have this uh, rage uh, anger towards someone who hurt us no so somebody is hurting you with their words or they are physically harming you then after that they are going back to their home and what is happening for us we are thinking how he did that how she uh, how dare she told me like this and whole the night you are thinking about how she can do this how i will go uh, how i need to give something back to her and these all things at the same time she or he will be sleeping very peacefully in her or in his home no so what is happening we are only damaging our brain our health and our visualizing negatives and we are creating our negative future only so forgiveness is not for others we are we have to forgive them for ourselves only only then we can keep a positive mind for us so if you have anger or uh, if you have problem with anyone you need to understand this we need to understand this that we have to forgive them only because we need a peaceful life for us not because they did nothing or because they are right or nothing like that it is for us only that's why every religion is saying forgive 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 don't uh, don't go towards the hurt problem and everything don't anger don't show aggression to that person who hurt you just forgive them so we need to forgive them and forgive ourselves also sometimes we might be doing or we might did something bad to our children or our spouse or our parents and we will be thinking like oh i am very bad person i did this i am going to pay for this and we are not forgiving ourselves also this also will create a lot of negative thoughts so we need to uh forgive ourselves also then the forgiveness also give a lot of positive mind for us and uh, we can use mindfulness also for the uh, management of stress how how what is mindfulness we know that living in this moment you can see that if i am asking you now at this moment don't think about past and don't think about future now at this moment you do you have any big problem no we are just sitting here and we don't have any problem no maybe in the pa past or in the future we have problems but at this moment we don't have any problem so when we are living at this moment we are very happy we are very peaceful for so that is mindfulness practice we can do that every day you can search that also in your youtube or in google 
there is a lot of exercise and lot of this. It's simply I will tell what is this. If I am uh, if I am uh, painting something, so I have to be here only. So uh, okay, this one is white paint, and this one I am going to green, and this one is red. So just be here at the moment. And if you are washing your hands, you can uh, feel the texture of the water. Oh, the uh, what it is cold or it is hot so you can feel the water and how it is touching your hands this is mindfulness if you are preparing something a food or something you, we will be always thinking something and preparing no so mindfulness is you do something and you are doing with full full mind there we are present present moment we are in the present moment so that is mindfulness what is the help of mindfulness we will be having a peaceful mind so that is we are collecting our energy because whenever we are thinking about lot of negative things we are wasting a lot of energy so we are we will be so tired and we will be having a lot of health issues also those who have a lot of stress they may be having a lot of health issues also because we are creating a lot of bad hormones and all and it will may uh, you may have sleep issues you may have uh, other uh, stomach issues and something like that so we can do this mindfulness forgiveness exercise gratitude exercise and uh, whenever a negative thought is coming we can stop and start positive thing these are all things we can do for stress management and uh, i think our time is almost uh, now we may have some discussions uh, for the last 10 minutes so uh, do you have any i think our time is almost uh, now we may have some discussions uh, for the last 10 minutes so uh, do you have any